rock, baby. Hell yeah. So, hello everybody. What is going on? It is Ibishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Devil May Cry. Last time, we managed to get through Guiding of the Soul, showed the various ways you can complete the mission, and obtain the very special bonus of 2,000 red orbs. This time, we tackle mission 6, Evil of the Water Wings. Defeat the Evil Guardian and acquire the Guiding Light. We have 3,231 red orbs to use. I'm gonna use it to get myself at least a purple orb. I could get a blue orb, more health. Or you can use it to get one of these. I can get Round Trip or I can get Vortex. Round trip, I don't see myself using much. Vortex really only need a double trigger state. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Vortex. One. I think I might have enough. No, I do not. Okay. Had to check. We can get another vital star, which isn't bad. I kinda of, yeah, I'll take one. And we'll leave from there. We'll go with it, we'll rock with it. We'll lean with it, rock with it. What we gonna stop with it. As you can tell I'm a very big swim in pilot's fan, but that's fine. Nothing more. Let's jump in. I missed their concert. They had a concert here nearby here in LA and I was so sad I couldn't make it because I had no money. I'm a broke boy. Another blue orb fragment if you head up north away from the camera. Nothing else in this little section. So let's continue on down towards. We're in the waterways. The sewer system I guess you could call it. We have this door that we could go through but first I recommend going this way. Well... No, no. I say we go through the pipes first. We go through the, the steel door. Going through the steel door has a lot more benefit, and um, the that little side path, whatever, whatnot, it'll definitely pay its dividends uh, after we do this. Get ourselves a rusty key, and with it, the introduction of another newfound enemy, Beals above. These guys can get very annoying very quickly. There's two variants of it, green and blue. They will launch off maggots and everything and be just giant problems. If the maggots land on you, they will basically nullify your guns and swords. Your best recommendation is just to use the shotgun and blast them. Literally blast them. It'll fix all your problems in relative ease. You shouldn't have too much difficulty clearing this room out. A pretty simple, straightforward area. Not a lot to worry about. You might take some damage, but it should be pretty easy. Now we head back out. We see, yep, they've invaded this place as well. Now here's the interesting thing. The green beals above. See that there's blue ones. We're fighting green ones constantly. Um, the blue ones, of course, you know, they're flying high in the air while the green ones are on the ground. If a green beals above... Can we just have that little crash goblin? Um, if a blue one falls and a green is nearby you will see something interesting happen the green one will ingest whatever is fallen of blue or the green if there's another green and it will become stronger a lot more agile and deal more damage that can be a bit dangerous it can be a bit troublesome so keep that in mind ha boom down the reason why I said you want to hold off in this area is because there's not just one, not two, but three green orbs. And there's this special place. This is what's known as a red orb fountain. Upon hitting it, you want to swing rapidly. There's an invisible timer that starts as soon as you start swinging. So move fast. The more you attack it, the bigger the red orbs that appear. You want to try to hit it as much as possible to reap the most red orbs you can out of him pick it up and put the mat underneath the cat food <sighs> little crush goblin thinks it's an entire plaything whatever get through that collect all that you can and get out real simple real straightforward there's plenty of red orb fountains well not plenty but there's a good handful of red orb fountains you can find throughout the game and i definitely recommend you try to maximize your damage if you have to go into devil trigger state and spam like hell. Press onward. Find ourselves a locked door that that rusty key just so happened to come across. Make way down this second area and there's no enemies. It's pretty desolate and empty, which is really weird. There's another hidden passageway down here. And here, don't go all the way through. 
there is green orbs. I really wish you could change the camera angle. There's green orbs, I think, lying towards the end of this place. You're going to want to hold off on them because they will be very helpful much later. You can see his different taunts. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend you hold off on it at the very least because you don't want to end up losing out on any of them. Um, but yeah, keep on heading down and eventually we'll find a weird little structure thing. Let's see these. Can't do much with them. Can't really go anywhere without them. Stop it. Thanks. It's not a toy. Um, I recommend be be prepared. You might need to use your vital star here. You might not. I don't know. But press forward. And we encounter quite the enemy. It is known as the Death Scissors. It's a very powerful thing. It can be a very big problem and it has very interesting attacks that it can use at any given time. Just try to avoid them as best as you can. You cannot escape the confined space, of course, so try to keep yourself within, you know, on reach. Use Helm Breakers as they're going to be your best friend in this entire fight. Where do you go? Where do you go? Oh! He's digging through the ground? Oh. No! Yes, this thing can be annoying because he will just, you know, be able to do that. He can counter you, which is really new and really cool. Eventually, after two good solid helm breakers, he will surround himself in flames and just go wild. It is insane the amount of damage that he can do. Wail on him with your shotgun as best as you can. Try not to get hit too often because he can definitely hurt bad. You shouldn't have too many problems with it though. Your distance. Try to jump as much as possible. No, oh, that was a really bad spot. Boom. I'm like trying to utilize that double jump. Oh, damn, it's not working out for me. It's really bad. Boom. Boom. No! Stop! Boom. 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 Damn, man, just how much more do you need? Oh, God. Ah! No! Uh, oh, that's fine. We have plenty of yellow orbs. It's so good, but yeah, no, the Death Scissors. Uh, they are tough. They are a very powerful mini boss. Damn, they can cause you some problems. I know on my first initial run, I definitely struggled immensely against that thing. So if you go down. I don't blame you. It is a somewhat tough mini boss. Yes, I'm calling it a mini boss. And jeez, it could be a giant pain. Oh, come on. Oh, that was bad. Whoa. Oh, he's running low. Jump, you fool. No. Jump. Uh, it's a little hard to angle, it's a little hard to work out. Uh. No! If it gets you out of midair, at least it's not as bad. Ugh. Oh, I missed it. No! Uh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Boom. 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 No! Uh, did me last time. Hold on. Boom. Bam. Another one. Will you stop it, Sphinx? That is not a toy. I swear this cat is a damn little rock. There's two other cats here for her to mess with and play with. She loves to mess with that damn axe. Oh, come on. All right. I had enough. Boom. Eventually, with the devil trigger and enough damage done, it goes down. Why is it so brutal? I don't know, but whatever. I didn't use my vital star. I'll take it. It is down. It is out. Press on, and we see... Well, we heard a crack. There was a... Uh, 
cow skull, similar to the death scissors, sitting above this. Pressing on it, we see it is the guiding light, a key that shines in Ardor. It slowly drains the power of the possessor. Boom. And there we go. Cleared and done. Probably not the best score considering I died, but we'll have to take it. <sighs> oh, B rank. Okay, not too bad. I was expecting a worse score, but uh, yeah. Boom. We'll take it. We'll accept it. And that'll be it for now. Another mission clear. Another one for the record books. The Evil of the Water. That'll be it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy another relatively short area. We'll see exactly just what else is in store for us next time. Peace out, everybody.